Hi everyone, happy to present another interesting video from Excess. And in this particular video, I'll be sharing you a quick update which we made in our research tool. And if you look at the research tool, underneath we have a derivative analysis. And the very first two tab under derivative analysis, which is FI activity in index derivatives and stock derivatives. These two are widely used uh, research tool from our Excel website. And what you get out of this particular tool is the details of what the smart monies were doing in the market. So the very first uh, uh, the table, which helps you to pick up the fund flow. So if I take up the 13th September, the FIs have created a long position close to 6,300 contracts, but it's it's pretty clear that they've reduced to 25,000 contracts on the most recent trading day on index futures, am I right? So this this needs a lot of efforts. Of course, this, this gave a lot of details, but what we did is we did a, a quick update in a way that it become much more user friendly and you can take some quick decisions out of it. So, and of course we want to know what might have happened on that particular day, what contract. So you need to again filter it and then you will get this particular call 13th. So bank nifty and nifty is there. And then if you want change, decreases in open interest, increases open interest, you, you have to keep shifting a lot of tab. So an updated version is actually available. If you click on right, I know a try now, it will take you through. So this is again available without even logging in. So straight in one click, you get it. If this may be available for a while uh, and sooner we may remove this particular page. So you need to know how to access it even without this particular page that you can actually get it from about training as investing. So under the last one, which is apps, under apps, you may actually see something called Excess Primer. Okay, I'm talking about Excess Primer. The Excess Primer is a tool which is dedicated to do a lot of research, be it intraday, equity positional, option strategies, or derivative analysis like option chain analysis and everything. So we are going to bring in all of these features under the Primer app. And this is a web application, not a mobile application at this moment. So by just clicking here, it takes you through this particular screen. The many of the features are actually available without even having the guest account. But we strongly recommend you to have the guest account so that you know, it becomes much easier for you to save some of your efforts. And uh, I'm sure the screen is quite uh, familiar to many of you because uh, if you look at the scanners and filters that intraday scanners and filters are widely uh, used by our audience but we have recently introduced the derivative modules here and if you look at the derivative analysis you have fi open interest analysis so this is how you get into this particular screen okay and what is the interesting uh, feature what we are getting it if you look at the very first table okay this table gives you that change in open interest on the given particular day on the given particular day by various market participants so that's pretty straightforward and if you wish to shift you can actually go back or you can move forward becomes very user friendly in terms of moving in in one button everything actually changes and if you want to go from index segment to stock segment you can actually access it them through this way and the interesting aspect of this particular one is on the right hand side you are immediately getting that the open interest changes in the particular segment which is let's say futures um, and along with the calendar, which is, you know, September month contract or October month contract. And interestingly, at the bottom, you are seeing a chart as well. So if I click on Nifty, it is loading this Nifty chart. And if I click on Bank Nifty, it is actually giving me Bank Nifty chart. That would is about five minutes, two minutes, one minutes of that particular day. So if I, if I see that it is the 12th day and if I click on this one, so this is actually loading the 12th day Bank Nifty charts. Okay. So this is. So if I if I see something very interesting on 8th September and if on 8th September if I got to know that uh, FIs have reduced their open interest and most of the open interest got reduced I mean especially short open interest and mostly it is from index futures so if I want to know what might have happened here on one click you get to know and you might have noticed there is something at this particular screen what exactly it is this is actually giving you the relationship between the total number of trades from the change in open interest. Let's say a given day, there is a total number of traders about 1000 contracts and the net change in open interest is also 1000. So that shows that everybody who got into the trading are a very serious traders because they 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 traded and uh, or might have, uh, you know, impacted the open interest, might have reduced or added. So in, in that case, it's, it's very important. So sometimes you see that there is a net change in open interest to zero but there is a lot of trades that have happened. In that case, mostly their contracts got transferred, but they are not uh, into the uh, adding longer. So we want to know the proportions. So 
this this becomes very interesting because if I if I take this other segment, you can see the details here. So if I look at the uh, 18,400 call option contracts, and in this particular one, I get the historical data from 25th August, 26th August, until uh, you know the the most recent dates we are actually getting in. The dates because 8th September because we loaded the 8th September. If you want about the 13th, you can keep moving, okay? And then you you click any of those stocks, you get to know till 13th, okay? So this is all available at this moment. So what you see is that the recent times, there's a lot of trades and of course the change in open interest. In some cases, you also see there is a net change in open interest is negative. So in that case, it is actually highlighted in red color. So this is a pretty advanced uh, set of analysis. How do I use this particular table? We will be posting a new video on that particular one. So at this moment, I'm just highlighting or taking you through with this particular tool. So what you see in this particular table is um, the historical uh, flow um, by F FII and client because they are the two major contributors in the Indian markets. So we want to know what exactly FIs are doing. On the right hand side, you see what exactly the clients are actually doing. This table is pretty standard and there is a bit of highlight is also there if it is any significant amount. And we made our biasness because whenever uh, FI is actually going long, we see it as positive and FI is reducing the long, it's negative. And shorts added is negative and shorts reduced are positive, but it is vice versa for the clients. So on those basis, we may have some colors maybe highlighted these aspects. So I hope this is very clear and uh, much more user friendly for you to access it. So if you want to get started, so what you can do is pay first attention to the first uh, tab and understand what exactly this particular tool is. And then you actually see uh, if FIs have added a longs or a shorts, then meanwhile have a look because if you, if you look at this particular one on put options, index derivative, 13 September, FIs have reduced their open interest. Meanwhile, pros have also reduced their open interest. So I'm sure if any open interest is significantly reduced, okay, maybe it is by FI or pros, okay. And I, I wish to see like, you know, uh, this this particular one in some some contracts are at the choice of the pros on this one this become a lot more sensible if you do a stock segments as well okay because in stock segment you have more number of assets so it's e easily we can actually grab them how go to the future segment and look at this uh, fis have reduced their long position significant long positions got reduced okay and meanwhile you 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 need to notice that uh, Access Bank uh, reduced their open interest. Ambuja Simmons got reduced their open interest. Reliance uh, open interest got reduced. So we, we need to understand this. And uh, you, you see some of them have added the open interest. But those added open interest may be attributed towards a client, which is uh, Bajaj Fincher, uh, be it September month contract or October month contract, both have added a significant amount of open interest. So we just want to know... Um, who may be created the open interest because everybody have reduced their open interest, especially FIs have reduced their open interest, clients have reduced their shorts. So the added position must be because of client. More likely it is because of the client. So, uh, and you see the most of the open volume is translated into the open interest. I hope you got this uh, little bit of idea, but it may be uh, uh, slightly difficult for an absolute beginner who is getting into this quantitative analysis. But this is a video per uh, primarily meant for someone who's already using this FI open interest analysis and wants to use them in a in a much sophisticated way and we have actually made it. And this gives you, uh, you know, uh, a backdated data so that you can actually look, af look after them, how it actually worked. Maybe two, three months of data may be available for you to keep moving backward. So in, even in this particular screen, I can say that those longs are added by the clients or maybe uh, the shorts of um, FI as a pro. And the, the the Access Bank, uh, Ambuja Simmons, or maybe Reliance, those long positions were booked by, uh, may, they may, this was the kind of longs held by FIs, may be booked by them. And especially the uh, Reliance, Ambuja, uh, some, some profit bookings were happened by FIs on this particular one. So likewise, you can pick up call options. So even if you put up call options, like added longs and added shorts may not make much sense out of it. And if you look at the historical data points, uh, even the FIs are actually reducing the long positions and clients are actually adding their long positions. It's very clear that the, the clients are actually adding the long positions here sometime back. Yeah. But in the last two days, the FIs are reducing the long positions.
yeah and if you look at this segment maybe on 1st and 2nd september the so if you want we can go back and 1st and 2nd september so if you click on d it will show you the chart as of the first whatever the date has been selected so there are a lot of conveniences are there so i hope it will be uh, very useful for you to pick up them and if you have any other uh, feedback or any other update is required please keep us posted we will uh, you know try to inter you know update it as soon as possible thank you thanks for watching out this video till this minute